Views. Being at the beach makes me want to move home. True, move home. All the views I need is here. Girl. The hardest thing about being on a strict meal plan is not being able to go out to eat. I'll show you guys how I make it um, when this is done cooking. Mmm. Oh my god. Three, two. Well, how do they are partners? I am so excited for today. Eldon and I are headed up to Ventura and I'm so excited because our challenger is getting a little makeover. So we're gonna go drop it off and we have to drive separately. I typically would literally go like bumming it, but I was trying to utilize the sun today because I woke up earlier. You guys know Al Gang over here, I'm nocturnal. So I got ready just to take photos and I'm gonna change actually. This was my fit. The Vlexin pants, I threw on some white chucks and then what you guys don't see is the back. <laughs> Elden actually clipped the back for me so in the photos it looks nice and taut and i got these new sunnies from laura's boutique and they're so freaking cute i'm obsessed i love these so much that i literally ordered them in every single color that laura had and don't forget you guys can use my discount code which is my name cassie i'll link it down below for you guys that way you can have quick easy access but i'm just gonna change real quick because this is like too extra like i would not wear this unless i was going out to like dinner or to a bar or something. This is like way too extra just to pull up to a shop right now. So I'm gonna change and maybe I'll vlog a little bit on the way or once we get there. But um, why do I still have these on? Check it out. Um, yeah, that's the agenda for today. Just a beautiful Sunday afternoon. So I'll check back in a bit later. Also, I showed you guys on Instagram, but my mechanic King, he installed the airbags on the Chali. So now, she could be scraping on the ground or she could be aired up. I will never get over this view on the way to Ventura. This is Camarillo. It is so beautiful. This is the last time we're gonna be seeing the black and gold. Oh my god, I have missed the smell of the ocean. Look how beautiful. We were literally like 10 minutes away from the beach, so we said, why don't we come and check it out and see what the vibe. And watch the sunset. I'm getting my mochas all sandy right now. Not the shoes for the beach, but worth it. Look at this view. Being at the beach makes me want to move home. True, move home. All the views I need is here. Girl. Elden doesn't care about the view. But then every time I want to move home, I remember it's literally only beaches. And we have everything here. Beach, mountains, city. You want me to put it in? Yeah. Why don't you put it in? Yummy. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Have y'all had Robix before? Yeah. It's pretty delish. Do you remember what I got? Queen of all greens. Queen of all greens. Very beneficial. They also have the best avocado toast. The bread they use is so good. Delish. I think you got it for me before, but I don't remember. Yeah, I did. It's like a thick bread. It's really good. We love thick, mama. The hardest thing about being on a strict meal plan is not being able to go out to eat. Well, it's good um, discipline if you eat out all the time. Eldon and I rarely eat out unless it's like a special occasion or a meeting or something. But I feel like now that we don't get to eat out, now I want to eat out. You know how that goes. But honestly, I've been doing really good on this diet because I don't really ever eat sweets or like snack at home very often anyway. So as long as my food preps, my meal preps are made, then it's pretty easy. 
Okay, so we just came to a little trail and parked the car to show you guys. Should I do it again? Are you ready to see our baby's makeover transformation in three, two, one? Oh my god! Oh my freaking gosh, you guys. I cannot believe I have my dream car. Okay, well, technically, I've already had my dream car, but now this is officially my dream car because I've always wanted a camel wrap and we kept it half half. So it still looks the same with the stock white on this side and then now we just switched it to a natural camel fun fact this is actually in honor and a little tribute to young Dolph he is my favorite rapper in the world RIP to him I love him so so much but all of his cars are actually wrapped like this and he has his signature dolphin on the side it's so freaking sick I've always been obsessed with camel especially from Hawaii I don't know camel is just our thing back home mostly because we grow up hunting so camel is just like such a huge part of Hawaii. But even if you ask my friends, they will tell you how much I am obsessed with camel. And now I just can't believe that it is on my freaking dream car. Like what? And it just happened to be a coincidence that it already had a camel wrap from the previous owner that we got it from. But you guys saw that he had a black and gold theme, which I thought was pretty cool, but it just wasn't me. It was a little too flashy. I mean, not like this isn't flashy, but I just felt like the gold was a little more like car show vibes. And this is more of like a daily driver in a way. I mean, some may agree, some may disagree, but I just think this is like so me. Like this is me in a car. And I can't believe this baby is my Mine. Oh my god. Huge shout out to Shark Wraps for doing such a phenomenal job. If you guys are looking to do any wraps or custom designs, please hit him up. He is so freaking nice and they just killed it. They did such an amazing job. 20 out of 10 recommend. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Rudy. He did a ceramic coating on the whole entire car. So that helps protect the paint and makes it last a lot longer. It is two times glossier than the stock paint as you can see it is literally like glass and he also said it's easier to clean as well as preventing it from getting sun damage so thank you so so much again to Rudy and Brian you guys freaking killed it I'll leave their shops and info down below so you guys can hit them up they were both so kind so amazing and honestly I just can't wait to be whipping him around just got home and I'm throwing together a quick little meal prep. We have some sauteed onions with zucchini and tofu and I just added some soy sauce, sesame oil, and then I think I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon pepper. I love these edges when they're all charred like that. Oh my god. Yum. It's just gonna be bussin' bussin'. And then over here, I made a fresh pot of jasmine rice, and then I'm gonna make some roasted artichokes. I cannot wait for these. I'll show you guys how I make it. Um, when this is done cooking, so BRB. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna prepare these is cut the stems off and then I peeled off all the bottom, like kind of rough layers. I'm gonna take scissors and just cut the sharp pointy tips off, just like that. Let me discard this trash. I'll continue cutting around after, but then you wanna cut about half an inch off of the top. <laughs> Show a little dull right now, mama. A little closer to an inch there. That's okay. Oh, you can already see the heart. Look at that. So then you just want to kind of prune around. Okay, now that we have our beautiful artichoke rose buds, they're all cleaned and prepped. You want to cut it right down the middle. Be very careful. Also, be careful of the little spines because these are all pretty sharp too. But then we have it looking like that. Then you just grab a handy dandy spoon and scoop out all of the hairy, fuzzy stuff right in the middle. So I think I'm gonna do that off camera because it's kind of messy. All right, here is my air fryer basket, which I lined with foil on the bottom. I cut little slices of lemon wedges and wedged them right in there. Two of them I put peel side up and then two of them I put like the flesh side up just to see which one, I don't know, comes out better. I seasoned these bad boys with a little bit of lemon pepper. 
a little bit of garlic powder and then freshly squeezed lemon all over them. And then instead of using olive oil, I'm just going to do a light mist of avocado oil, which is really convenient because it's just a quick spray. I'm actually going to turn these upside down and air fry them face down for four minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but let me pop it in real quick. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in at 350 for four minutes face down and then I'll come back and flip it. I just finished my meal prep lineup. Oh my God, I just devoured one too and it is so delicious. If you guys ever need like a simple dinner, make this because this is like a quick little stir fry and it's bomb. Okay, flip them over and let them roast a little bit longer. So it's probably like six minutes and I switched it to 400 degrees for the last two minutes. I like my stuff a little extra roasted. So this is literally just how I like it. Oh my God, yum. Let's bring it over in the light here. If y'all have never had artichoke before, there's really not a lot of meat. It's like the tiniest bit that you scrape off with your teeth on each of these leaves. And then there's a lot in the actual heart in the center, which is so delicious. In my diet, I'm allowed to have one serving, which is probably like maybe a tablespoon. I have to double check of mayo, but mayo is a really good, easy, quick, dipping sauce or if you don't like straight up mayo you can also make a little aioli sauce which would be so bomb but i only dip the littlest bit into mayo and it just it sounds disgusting but trust me it is so good if you guys are artichoke lovers like me let me know and if you guys haven't tried it and you do try it let me know what you think because i'm really curious it is so bomb okay we're gonna do a little taste test another thing i forgot to mention if you don't like real mayo you can do vegan mayo, which obviously is dairy, egg-free, and like just made from plants. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. And one serving is one tablespoon. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, cause why not? YOLO, put it in a little sauce dish. Yum, all these look so good. Okay, literally, that's all you do. Mmm. Oh my God, the outer layers don't really have much to offer, but I'm glad that I left them on there so that the inside layers are nice and roasted, but they're not all dried out because these are pretty dried out. The closer you get to the heart, the more meat you get here, but it's still literally like that much. Like it's not a lot at all. And when I mean a little dip, I mean like the tiniest little dip. Mmm. It's still really good, but it's not as soft and tender as it is boiled or steamed. So I would probably bake it a little bit longer on a lower heat. That way it can like make it a little more tender, but still really good. It's just a little more crunchier. Usually I save the best for last and obviously eat the heart last, but this is gonna turn into a full mukbang <laughs> if I eat the whole thing right now. Especially because it's kind of like a slow process. It's like you enjoy every single bite. But yeah, you can't eat any of the actual leaves. I got a piece of the heart. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. With that fresh squeezed lemon on top. Whoa. 20 out of 10. Make it yourself at home. The last time I had a roasted artichoke was at a restaurant. And I swear it was probably like $15 for like two halves. And I don't remember how much we paid for these at the store, but I know it's a fraction of the price than eating it out. Mmm, mmm, oh my God. Honestly, I think I'm gonna cut open another lemon to drench on top because it hits so much more with the fresh lemon on top. Well, I'm gonna finish eating and go edit this vlog so I can hopefully have it up for you guys tomorrow. But I have a few videos that I'm gonna be filming in the next like week or so. So I'll be back, but thanks for hanging out and joining me. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Okay, update, I'm now at the heart. Make sure you don't eat any of the furry parts, like pick that off if there's any, but this is like what I truly just worked so hard for. It's a small reward for so much work, but once you get to the heart, oh my God, it's so good. And honestly, I could have done like just 
one or two teaspoons of the vegan mayo because I have so much left over. But I'll just wrap it up and then eat those with it later. But I don't know what it is because like typically when I think about it, I would never eat just straight up plain mayo. Especially not with like a vegetable, but it is so good. The two just go together like peanut butter and jelly. It's just... Mm. And now we have the last three for later. Mm -hmm. 